Today's pot assessment, whether to repot or not, taking into consideration that you don't have clear pots or you would like to change into something more decorative, here are the guidelines for another example of should I repot this orchid or shouldn't I? And we will explore the circumstances of this pot. This orchid is massive. She's one of the epidendrum crosses. Her canes go up to approximately 80 centimeters, but that's not the point. The pot is of importance. My decision to repot this orchid, whether I see the roots or not, is based on the fact I would like to clean her up. All the back here, these canes, they're all a little bit tatty looking and I'd like to take them off at the back and clean her up and make her look a little bit more presentable. Herself not being a very beautiful orchid, but her bloom spray is gorgeous. So, first of all, as per usual, we can identify whether we have a clear pot or not, that she's growing new roots, and that is always a great indicator to be going into a repot project without stressing the orchid out too much or setting her back. And that would apply whether you have a clear pot or not, you wanna repot your orchid, new roots, go for it. The next indicator that I'm going to be doing anyway is because I want to clean her up. So I don't need a clear pot to assess that situation. But then what else? What else do we need to be mindful of in order to know whether an orchid needs repotting if we don't have a clear pot? Well, first of all, we can take her out of the mask and squeeze her. And the leka is pretty loose in there. Two things can be happening. The older roots have died or she is not pot bound. Either way, the good thing about this is if we were not ready to repot and we've got new root growth, the crunchy lecker, the fact that there's flex in that pot is a clear indicator that there is still oxygen exchange in that pot. So every time we flush, we still pull oxygen in through the pot because the gravity will pull the air down plus the water has oxygen in it. So that's my checkpoint if I were not ready to repot this orchid, if I was just checking the climate in her pot. But there's another thing we can do. Again, we add some water, we fill the pot up because prior to any repot, we want to make sure that there is some calcium, some magnesium. We really want to give the orchid a good start for the stress that's about to happen with a division or a cleanup or anything that's going on. If you're looking at these checkpoints with regards to your pots and what needs to be done in your collection. Here you can see something happening that is quite interesting. Let's go in a little bit closer. The water is not receding, but we checked the media. There was flex in the pot, so why is the water not receding? Because if there's plenty of oxygen exchange, etc., in the pot, then surely the water would recede and then we would need to top it up. That is not happening here. If the water level is receding a smidge, that is not the same as when you hear gargling, the bubbling happening because there's air being pushed out of the gaps of the media. This is not happening here. Not a single gargle, not a single bubble. So this shows me that in that pot, either we don't have any roots because of the last cleanup, the back part had a radical cleanup two years ago, there wouldn't be any roots growing back here and that's why there's flex in the pot, so there are no roots in here. Or the other option is some of the roots are dying and the dead roots have filled in the leka to such a degree that there is no room for the water to recede to. There is no oxygen exchange in the pot. And that is why there is flex in the pot because there is no resistance against the media when you squeeze a pot that has dead roots because they are soft and rotten. So there is a give in the pot, even if the orchid itself would be considered pot bound because the roots are dead. Never mind, this orchid is going to be addressed anyway, but for example, if you were not sure about whether to address your orchid in the pot, you don't have a clear pot and you are not entirely certain what to do next, check your pot, give it a squeeze, fill it with water, check for the bubbles. I have another video where you can see and hear the bubbles of a pot that didn't need to be addressed because there was plenty of oxygen in and amongst the media. So I will link that one down below. But this is the example that just because there is flex in the pot when you squeeze, 
When you see a water level not receding at the top, it means that the roots are dead and it is time to repot, whether the orchid has still got space in the pot or not. You want to clean up that root ball, get in there and give the new roots a fresh start in fresh media, whether you pot in organic media or inorganic media, it makes absolutely no difference. But these are the checkpoints I look for because I don't have clear pots and maybe this would be of help to you. So as I progress with more of my repotting project, I will be taking these clips aside and I will talk through every single example before going into the repot because not everybody wants to see a repot after repot after repot. So I'm hopeful that these clips are going to be of help and useful to you to assess the climate in your pot and what you need to do based on what you see is happening on the surface. Thank you very, very much for watching. Appreciate your time. Have yourselves a beautiful day on one condition though, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.